We are now going to create a single toy brick. So we'll start by creating a new project directory structure, which will give us a place to store our elements as we build up our project. Now let's start by saving, and we'll just call that brickify underscore 01, and that will go into this project. Now, to build our first object, let's press the C key and go down to Geometry Box. Press Enter to place it at the origin. Uh, you'll now see that we have, up at the top, we have what's called the Operation Controls, and we can actually control the shape of this object. Um, we're going to go 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and then Divisions 3, 2, 3, which you can't really see right here. So we're going to change the display on this here to Smooth Wired Shaded, and then we can zoom in and or dolly in and, and feel uh, get a feel for that. So here we have the uh, object that we've been working with, and down below is the geometry level where where that geometry is. Now if we press the second tool up in the corner here, um, we have get face selection or primitive selection. So that brings us down to that geometry level. Now if we press S, we can now go in and shift select the top four faces. And then we can go and bring, again, a radio button to go up polygons, poly extrude. Now, don't pull on the handle here. We're going to use an inset value here of 0 0.04. Now, we want to reshape this. Uh, to do that, we need an edit node. So if we just press T to get the, uh, the translate handle, uh, you'll notice an edit node is created. From there, while we're in this particular node, we can right click and say, make a circle. And there we get the shape that we need. Once we have that and we have these faces selected, uh, we can continue to poly extrude that out. So we're going to go C, model, polygon, poly extrude. And now we can pull on that handle to pull that up now that it's in a circular shape. And if we want to, we can put a, an exact number in there, 0, 05. So you can see that we've uh, created a little chain of down below, and the last thing we did was poly extrude. So let's press S to change our selection, and we're going to shift select these four. And now all we need to do is press Q, and the last thing we did, the poly extrude, will get repeated. So now we can inset that. Let's use a value again, 0 0.025. And then we'll go here and press Q again, and then we just push that up. And one seven five enter okay so now we've got this we're gonna select end to select all of the the faces and we're going to go tab group and we're going to use a group node to get us a selection so we're going to turn off that uh, and we're going to create the selection based on this here. So we're going to do 89 and 91. Perfect. Now once we have that, um, we want to use that selection to bevel. So the next thing we're going to do is again get the C key, go up model, polygons, poly bevel, and there we go. And we can set a distance value of how much we want to bevel. It's about 0.06. There we go. And it already is set to round, but without detail, you're not going to see that. So you set the divisions to 3. And now we, we see that roundness a little bit better. There we go. So now that we've got this, let's take a look at it. Um, let's go back up to the object level. And once we're at the object level, we'll just rename this to, um, let's just call this single brick, underscore brick. And we're going to go into the 3D view, and we're going to go Shift Plus. And Shift Plus will turn on subdivision display. And if we turn off the, just go to Smooth Shaded, you'll see that we're seeing a nice smooth version of this. And there's the display there. That would be full geometry and that subdivision surface. So that's looking quite nice for the single brick, uh, and we're ready to go.